Hello everybody and welcome, it's Mohamed Qureshi here and today I would like to talk to you about a topic which I have known and which has fascinated me for a long long time in fact for over a decade I first came to know about it about 14-15 years ago which is uh, DNA testing and DNA research before the very first time I actually went online and researched into this topic was around the year 2007-2008 however back then the research and and the information online was very much limited I tried to search as much as I could and as much as I can back then but I couldn't really understand the in-depth of how it works basically what I what I what I found out back then was it was going to trace your your or anyone's ancestral roots but i didn't know the various different types of testing that could be done and there and there, there wasn't that many companies and it was not as commercially available back then uh, currently the, as we move forward many years ahead now there are many companies now which are providing the tests and i have been interested in this, in this topic and sometimes in between the years i'll just go and research as i recall before 12 years 10 years there was a company under there was a project rather of dna testing under national geographic that was very famous ones which i remember and i didn't know much of the rest and wasn't that commercially available however before two months or so i somehow developed interest into researching and looking into this topic again and i went and researched in depth into it and now there's a lot more material available on youtube and on online and it's a lot more cheaper now and a lot more companies are offering the tests and the pools they have of the candidates or the people who have taken the test is a lot more let me briefly explain to you of the various different types of tests available commercially in the market now uh, the most famous or the test which most people go for is autosomal test Autoso autosomal test rather um, autosomal test is a test that measures your DNA and compares it to with other people and it will track your and so it will track your relatives or your or so or your cousins uh, up to up to about eight cousin but with very poor accuracy and to, to the fourth cousin with with significantly higher accuracy other types other the other type of test which is very famous and is done uh, by relatively a smaller number of websites is the y dna test the y the y dna test uh, test the y dna which is a male specific dna and that traces the male parental line uh, for example from from a child to his father to his grandfather to his great-grandfather and so on this line only th this test only will will detect or will always show up results matching to you based on any other uh, based on other individuals in their databases which are, which have the matching Y DNA and the third type of test is the metrochondrial DNA DNA test which met which which is transferred from transfer from your mother to her mother and to her mother and both men and women can take this test the fourth type of te test which is very uncommon is the y dna uh, is sorry the x uh, chromosome x dna test but it's um, but as as it's uh, but it's not that really much used and very few companies offer that test because like the autosomal of dna every, with every gene transfer or every new um, with every transfer it changes when uh, from parent to the child coming back to the autosomal dna test um, the relationships between various different the relationships between various different family members uh, varies and it's measured in 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 how much of your dna matches with those of your relatives so and it, the measurement cycle is called centimorgans so on average a person matches 50% of his DNA with his siblings or either one of his parents and then it goes smaller and smaller smaller the further the relationship mo goes back so to say and so to say like a fifth or or a sixth cousin or maybe even a fourth cousin would be sharing around let's say 50 to 100 or 50 centimorgans 
anything below 20 is very difficult to determine as as, as often people share DNA just randomly with other with others so moving forward we know that in societies here especially in this area it's a little um, the topic of DNA testing is so to say a little um, sensitive or it's not that um, yeah well now it's getting a lot more accept acceptable but we, we won't go into the cultural aspect one, there are many companies but one of the most famous companies testing for DNA now is the ancestry, is ancestry DNA testing they have two types of kits available currently one is the one that does the autosomal test and measures you with your relatives and cousins and the other one is an add-on health kit that, measure, that, that measures your health uh, markers based on your DNA giving you the results um, as to what diseases you're more, you're more prone or more likely to have or have a higher risk of having and some other companies also provide you um, with optimized diet diet advices such as what what food and nutrition would be better for you what diet would be better for you and what exercises i have recently also ordered this dna kit from ancestry dna and let's see what it has what it entails for us so it has a card with a number on it as you can see this is a welcoming card is a number that we're going to go and we're going to put on their website and then there is this kit itself this is the testing tube so all you have to do is you have to you have to put your spit right up to here and then add this chemical to it which will perhaps preserve it and you shake it and you put it in the in the other pack and send it back to them so most likely I'll be sending and shipping it out back to them by tomorrow and let's see what happens and how how long does it take to get back and what we can do about it um, I think it's enough for now and I will probably post the link uh, to purchase this kit in, in the section in the details below yeah, thank you for now and hope to see you guys soon